Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to reverse a number in Java. So let's get started. First thing we will be getting the number as an input from the user. So for that you will be using the scanner class, alright. Capital S scanner, let me name it as input equal to new scanner and it's going to be system dot in and for using scanner class we will be importing this particular library all right it's going to be import java dot util dot scanner all right that's fine and in the next line it's going to be int number equal to input dot we'll be having the next int all right and let me just have a system dot out maybe print ln as enter number all right so this is now fine and here i will be using a while loop to perform this function all right so first let me just type out the code and later i will be explaining you with the help of a number and a demo so it's going to be while our number okay which is no greater than zero all right and inside this we will be having digit all right so the last digit basically so let me just have int last digit ld be my last digit all right so it's going to be ld equal to number modulus of 10 so using this code we will be able to extract the last digit of any number because let's suppose say that i'm having a number as 107 so 107 mod 10 will basically give us the remainder after dividing by 10 so 100 is divisible perfectly and it will just give 7 as the remainder so the remainder is basically the last digit of any number so this is how we will be able to extract the last digit from any number and next line it's going to be and we will be also having another variable int reverse this will be assigned to zero all right so it's going to be reverse equal to reverse asterisk 10 plus our last digit don't worry it will be confusing at first i will just type the code and later explain it to you and next it's going to be number equal to number slash 10 so this code is basically used to just remove the last number same thing same logic as extracting the last number as well so let's consider 107 itself slash 10 it just gives the quotient all right so here the quotient is 10 so this basically has just removed the last digit from the number so even if it is 97 means the quotient over is 9 so which basically just removes the last digit and we are assigning that particular quotient to that number itself so 97 slash 10 equal to 9 means that our number 97 will be replaced with 9 after this particular line okay i hope that made sense so after this particular while loop we will be just printing the number so i will just copy this now and i will just paste it and instead of this i will just have rev which will have the reverse number at the end i think that's the code maybe let me just check it once okay this uh print statement should come before this one all right before the scanner or it should come here yeah this is fine and now let me just run and check the code whether it works perfectly and after that i will be explaining you with the help of a demo all right so this is fine this should come before that input next int okay now let me just run it so for running it it's java c first to compile so i'm not getting any errors and next is java and the class name so i'm getting enter the number let me go with one two three and so here you can see i'm getting the reverse number as three to one and let me also run, run it again maybe and i will this time i will go with um, five four zero nine and here you can see i'm getting nine zero four five so this is working fine so now i will explain with the help of a demo how this code basically works all right so first let us take the number as let our number input number be one two three all right so at first what happens is that it just come inside this while loop all right so it checks whether our number is greater than zero our number is one two three so it's obviously greater than zero so what happens here is that as i told you earlier this ld okay here we are just extracting the last digit of our number so what happens here is that it's going to be 123 mod 10 so we will be getting our last digit that's what we are doing here just extracting the last digit so 123 mod 10 will basically give us 3 which is the last digit as well 
so our ld will be equal to 3 during this iteration all right next thing we are just assigning reverse to 0 at first because here at first reverse value will be 0 so in order to avoid uh, getting an error or a garbage value warning it's good to assign reverse to 0 at first so it's going to it will be like this reverse equal to 0 0 asterisk 10 is 0 and it's plus last digit all right and our last digit is 3 just from the previous step so our reverse equal to 0 plus 3 and our reverse will be equal to 3 so this is just doing the first iteration all right and in the next line our number equal to or currently our number is 123 all right it will be 123 slash 10 and as i told you earlier this step is for removing the last digit all right this step is for extracting the last digit this is for removing the last digit so it will just basically give you the quotient so it will be equal to 12 because 120 is divisible by 10 and the quotient is 12 i hope that I, that was clear so this quotient is again assigned to the number itself so our number is now not 123 but it is now 12 because we are just dividing the number and later assigning to the number itself so this one is doing the first iteration all right so it just comes over here again and now our number is not 123 it is 12 because here we have made that change so it goes over here 12 is greater than 0 condition is true and it comes over here it will be 12 mod 10 which will be equal to 2 that is a reminder and that's the last digit as well and it will come over here so this time our reverse value is not 0 because we are we had value 3 in the last iteration so it's going to be 3 asterisk 10 plus our last digit our last digit was 2 just the previous step so 2 so this will be equal to 30 plus 2 that is 32 so this is doing the second iteration and the next line as usual we will be just removing the last digit so our number equal to 12 slash 10 and we will be getting the quotient so quotient is 1 so this is how it looks like so our number is not 123 now not 12 now but it is 1 so that's it second iteration is over now it just comes over here and our number is not 12 it is 1 and last digit uh, it's going to be 1 mod 10 1 mod 10 is not 0 it is actually 1 and it just comes over here so reverse equal to 32 from the previous step 32 asterisk 10 plus 1 okay which will be equal to 320 plus 1 which is 321 and this is basically the reverse of our number our number was 123 we have got 3 to 1 that's the reverse and here is the important step all right number equal to currently our number is 1 all right so it's 1 slash 10 and 1 slash 10 is 0 it's not 1 the quotient is basically 0 so at the end of our iteration our number becomes 0 and it just comes again over here in this case our number is 0 so 0 greater than 0 this condition is false and this while loop basically terminates out and at the end we are just printing this reverse and this reverse variable has the value of 3 to 1 which is nothing but our reverse number so this is like a nutshell how this code basically works it is just a beautiful code actually like just a three lines and it's just amazing back end work how it works so this is basically the thing i guess uh reversing a number in java i hope you have found this video useful i also done many other programming videos in java c c plus plus python node.js react.js mysql figma as well as 3d animation using blender so do check other videos of my channel subscribe me thanks for watching